I've had it with this crap shows, let me just end this. Ah! No, I failed again, goddamn. Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Watch or Not. A series about the first episode of an anime site based on it. I'm gonna keep watching the show or not, and today it's Lord of Vermilion. Now, what do you get when you combine the edginess of your teenage years with an anime? Well, you get this. And it's quite literally edgy, because the character designs are just... Dear God, look at them! Are you kidding me right now? Who thinks that designs like this are cool? and also is above the age of being a fetus. But let's start off with the story, which begins with a major battle, introducing so many different characters to us who we know nothing about, and making them fight each other, and letting us guess who we should root for, or think who should win. Cause, like, I have no clue what's going on. And it's not like this is a short battle where it's just supposed to get you excited for the show to come. No, this takes four minutes of the whole episode. Four minutes of us not knowing what the hell is going on and not caring. But after that, we do get to the real story, which is, uh, you know, the premise is, uh, <laughs> kinda. <laughs> we have two main characters, this boy here and this boy here, and their mentor who teaches them how to handle their wooden sword. <sighs> They're doing their average everyday stuff when suddenly a noise comes across everybody in Japan, and the people just pass out and have these psychedelic dreams. Okay, this is kind of a neat idea. Nice visuals to represent something, I guess. He then wakes up and finds out that weeks have passed, and he's the last person to wake up from the attack or whatever that was. And it turns out that Tokyo has been sealed off from the whole world thanks to a red mist, who nobody can pass through because something happens to them. But, but why don't you just, like, fly over them? Don't you have helicopters or something? And let's move on. Anyway, our main character keeps seeing visions, and then the mysterious noise comes on again, and his trainer turns into a demon. Oh snap! He tries fighting against him, but since he's his mentor or used to be, he can't really bring himself to hurt him. So instead, he gets hit by a sword. Well, he doesn't just get hit, he pretty much gets split in half. Isn't your heart supposed to be here or something? Like, shouldn't you be dead? But I digress. Everybody seems to have some new powers thanks to the Red Fog, and he might as well be a Time Lord as much as I know. But I'm not gonna know, because I'm giving this a nod. There have been shows like this before, with bloody wars coming to mind instantly, with a pretty unique premise that makes you think what could happen next, but it turned out to be really bland and shit and full of plot holes. And one big main giveaway with these kinds of shows is the characters themselves, as in they're not really interesting. The two main boys are super bland, like, we have no character motivation or what they'd even want from life, they don't even seem to have any kind of personality, not really getting mad or angry or sh even showing any kind of emotion most of the time. It's like, I've been asleep for three weeks, what has happened? Oh, Tokyo has been sealed off from the rest of the world because of mysterious red fog. Eh, well, let's just keep on going. What? Our master turned into a three meter long demon? Hand me that stick, I'm gonna try and beat him up. Not to mention that the end of the episode pretty much lets us know that he's turned into really OP, cause if you get your body split in half and survive, then you have to be pretty OP. So yeah, let's cover our boring characters with tropes as long as we're at it. And yeah, I feel that it is a pretty unique premise and interesting, but the way they approach it makes it kind of boring and uninteresting. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next week with Bucky. Bye.